Hey guys, we are back again with another video on barefoot shoes. This is my Vivo barefoot shoe collection. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, if you didn't catch my previous video, I've been a barefoot user for about five years now. Um, why, you might ask? Well, I really enjoy the uh, the feel of the shoes, to be honest. I enjoy their flexibility, their um, the barefoot feel itself, once you get used to it, um, and how they feel underfoot. And for those of you that don't know what barefoot means, it basically means it's a very flexible sole, thin sole, uh, with a really wide toe box to allow your feet to spread out, your, your toes to spread out. And generally it just means that you're getting more of a sensation as if you were not wearing shoes at all. Obviously, you know you're wearing shoes, but you feel the ground, your toes are more interactive with the ground, it's a more natural way of walking, as opposed to having you know two inch heels um, I don't know if you know this, but basically the human body is not designed to walk heel toe. Um, and just like your Olympic sprinters, they don't sprint heel toe, they sprint on their toes. And that's pretty much how we're designed to walk. And that's kind of been beaten out of us over the generations. Um, so for the last two weeks, I've been using the GeoCourt men's. So we'll get into those right away. So this is the GeoCorp Men's, all right? It's full grain leather. This is the black leather. And it's got a white sole, unfortunately. And it is really nice and waterproof. It's perfect for me with work because it means that I don't have to worry about any spills. And it's also great in the rain. It's completely watertight, basically. I mean, you can get some water down behind the tongue because it's not sealed to the, uh, to the actual upper of the shoe but I mean unless you're caught in a torrential downpour I think you'll be alright. So the pros, nice big toe box designed to help with the spread of the toes, nice and flexible. I, I don't really want to, I mean I'm sure I could but yeah, don't really want to bend them up too much because all the leather will get too wrinkly. Gave them a bit of a clean this time but can't avoid everything. Uh, the sole is nice and firm. It's not as squidgy as on the shoes that shall not be named. And um, it's a three millimeter sole with a vented um, s uh, insole, that's the word. So nice and comfortable, nice and thin as well. And one of the cons for this one, uh, there's two cons in my opinion. One of the cons is the white. I just don't feel like it's I just don't think white soles are necessary on any shoes. They just get dirty so quickly. The brown detail at the back is nice, I suppose, but, um, and the other one is the shoelaces are quite short. I mean, this is in a double knock, cause that's how I like to wear them. <laughs> it's annoying having to bend down and tie your laces whilst you're walking. But as you can see, they're just not very long, quite difficult to get into a double knot, not much slack in the laces. So that is the Geo Court Men's, let's move on. All right, so the next pair I've got for you is a pair that I actually bought before the GeoCourt, even though I needed to replace the field grounds that were absolutely awful. Um, but the weather at the time was very important. It was snowing, it was icy, and I really needed a pair of shoes to replace my Doc Martens because I was really feeling the pain of going from barefoot shoes to something as clumpy and thick and, and you know heavy as Doc Martens. So, to try and help with that, I decided to go for these. These are the Tracker FG Men's. They're kind of like a hiking boot, big old things. Okay, I've got no idea what the FG means, but it is part of Vivo's hiking range, which is why it, it looks like a hiking shoe. So let's go into the pros and cons of these bad boys. Again, subjectively, I do like the look of these. Um, they're a little bit dad shoe, hikery, you know, but I'm a dad now, so why not embrace it, right? Um, these aren't as free moving as fle and flexible as the other shoes, even though if you go on the website, they'll show you a ridiculous image of it being folded up, but they are still very flexible. Um, and the toe box is just as big as you'd imagine, you know? I don't know how hard it is to represent. I don't have a normal pair of shoes uh, to, to put up against these, to be honest. These big old treads on the bottom. We've got these lugs here, okay. Perfect for snow and ice, had absolutely zero issues. 
and they're super grippy, even on this sort of less worn bit here, where you're at, where the arch of your foot goes, you know, they've got some little spikes there to kind of dig in a little bit. If you're on some uneven terrain is what they say it's for. Uh, the cons, now the top section of these, okay, that comes over the ankle, it can be quite restricting on your walking style. Uh, so it can, f it can f make your shin feel quite tight after a long walk. Um, and on the right shoe in particular, only the right shoe, so it's probably my fault for having the laces too tight or something, it can cause some rubbing on the back here. You can see how quite sloped it is, so it really does cinch to your leg and it just causes a bit of rubbing back here. Never bad enough rubbing to the point where it makes your heel blister or anything like that, but it's something to note, okay? And if that's the case, and I know that I'm not walking that far or it's not that much of an aggressive walk, like I'm not on a hike through some hills or whatever, I just tie it, I just tie the shoes to here. You know, I'll, I'll literally just tie a bow here instead of using these rivets and then just tuck the tongue behind my jeans to keep it in place okay sorry that i keep looking at the screen i'm just trying to make sure i'm getting the shoes in shot for you properly okay all right so again full grain leather uh just in case that wasn't clear okay left around here nice sort of weatherproof material in the middle here there's no seams to the no seams to the tongue either you know, I can't get my thumb in there, it's all sealed, it's all watertight, it's great. But, but you can see where the tongue comes away from the shoe, it's just here. Other than that, it's a sealed unit, so, you know, big ankle deep puddles, you won't get any leaks. So these are the Primus Light, these are the ones I showed in the previous video, okay? These are my gym shoes, regular trainers, I even wear them every day in the summer and the spring, when sweaty feet might become an issue. So the pros for this one, it's super light and flexible, let me show you. Roll these up like a... Super flexible, springs right back, no issues, okay. It's 90% mesh on top. This is all breathable mesh, it's certainly not waterproof. These shoelaces I've got are not uh, from Vivo. These are like, oh, these are like some elastic ones to make them kind of more slip on, okay. Um, they are showing some wear from all their use, but I literally cannot recommend these enough. I don't have any cons for them, if I'm being honest. One thing I also want to point out, and I'll point it out with these shoes because it's so easy, is the insoles. These are some very fresh insoles for five-year-old shoes, and that's on purpose. They're brand new. Um, Vivo do sell new insoles for your shoes because they tend to be the thing that runs out the fastest. And these are their super breathable ones. They're literally used for like, um, they, have, they have shoes that are like water shoes that you would wear if you were to go kayaking or something that are like, and you could, I mean, you could use that for these ones as well. The point is they're like drains, you know? So you're not gonna, so water's not gonna stay on your feet for too long, they'll just drain out. And the Tracker boots that I have have a thermal insole, super thin as well, which is obviously the whole point, you know? Uh, they have a thermal insole. And then the other ones I showed you, the uh, FG, sorry, the Geocourt ones, they have a similar sole to this. Uh, but you can kind of, so if you don't like the sole it comes with, you can go onto the website and pick a thermal sole or an athletic sole, whatever. Cannot recommend these enough if you just want a trainer for the gym or for jogging or just something lightweight in the summer, really. All right, and now we have the Primus Knit Wool, or Wool Knit, I believe. Okay, these were a Christmas present from the wife. I have barely worn them. Um maybe two or three times just because they're kind of like my special occasion trainers they're my fancy trainers i don't want to wear them every day if i'm just popping to the shops or whatever one thing again pros completely subjective but i actually really do like the look of these um super flexible but even though it is full leather on top still super flexible it's got this wool sock style uh ankle piece i guess it would be called uh nice kind of you know they're not generic laces, if that makes sense. Like, you can tell that they're kind of laces. They design every lace for every shoe, if that makes sense. Like, it's just great attention to detail, in my opinion. Um, they're doing some great stuff. One thing I want to mention about Vivo in general is that they're doing some really great stuff with their materials. The wool is, like, co-signed by some, some wool advocate slash manufacturing company, and their leather's all well-sourced and stuff like that. 
Uh, the cons for this one, there is one unfortunately, uh, I'll be honest, and I've kind of told the missus about this so that I don't hurt her feelings, but because of this sock style that supports your ankle, let me grab the Geocorp back, you know, you can see the two different styles of, of heel. Because it's a sock style, it can be a bit sloppy and it can kind of cause a bit of a rub on the back of your heel here. Uh, again, never been an issue in terms of actually hurting my foot, but you can feel it. Um, so these are my special occasion shoes. Well, my special occasion trainers. I wouldn't wear them on a night out or anything, but <laughs> super flexible. You got these hexagon shaped treads on basically all of the shoes, apart from the uh, hiking shoes, which I showed you. Um, sorry, some cat hair on it. Forget the mud, but there's cat hair all over it. So you can see how they texture their shoes for tread. All right, guys, so conclusion time. If you're looking to get into barefoot shoes, I think Vivo is the best company to go for. I have only tried two companies, this one and Field Grounds, which you should already know my opinion on right now. Don't buy them. Um, but they have a great selection, whether it be hiking shoes, hiking boots, everyday shoes, uh, smart shoes, casual shoes, trainers. Uh, like I said, they do some specialty kind of shoes that are more appropriate for actually outdoor adventuring. So you will struggle to begin with, I'm not going to lie. It does take a while to get used to that thinner sole, especially if you're coming from like some shoes with ridiculous soles like Yeezys or Nike Air Maxes or something. And to be honest, if you're into those kind of shoes, you're not going to be interested in barefoot shoes because you obviously care more about your status as someone that buys trainers, let's be honest. Uh, so it is going to strengthen your feet once you get used to it eventually it's just going to be like wearing any other pair of shoes all day um you're going to get those strengthened feet you're going to get those toes spread out a little bit more as you walk which is super important for the barefoot style um one thing that i'm actually going to be looking into this month is um you've probably seen them they're kind of oriented towards kids at least at first but they're you know uh, finger sock fin finger toe socks um I really want to look into them because I've kind of gotten to the point in my my barefoot usage of like, well, I'm used to the shoes now. My toes are a lot more relaxed. They're not as kind of pointy, you know, um, as they might have been in more traditional shoes like Converse, for example, uh, with, which are just long, skinny, and on me they look like canal boats. But um, so the five, you know, the finger toe sock shoes are also designed to help encourage that splaying out of the um, toes because if you're, if you're wearing a tight sock it's not really going to make much more difference that you're wearing a barefoot shoe at least eventually so that's something I want to look into give you a bit more dexterity with your toes it helps you grip onto the ground especially if you're hiking just all of these things barefoot shoes are just so great for so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did please like comment subscribe and let me know down below if you want to hear about the socks or anything else. Um, one thing I'm going to be doing coming up is a little bit of a series for things that I've bought on Kickstarter. During lockdown, I went on a bit of a Kickstarter binge and even though I might have backed something nearly a year ago, it's like with, with, the, with the pandemic and everything, I'm only just receiving these items. So I'm going to be doing a series on things that I've backed on Kickstarter, so that should be quite cool. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.